as far as hey guys it's Klaus welcome back to another video Shh, hunt from the C clan shout out to you guys is in his tortoise and one must respect the tortoise one must be cognitive of which uh, direction the tortoise is facing uh, the tortoise is not a tank to be taken lightly as a famous uh, 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 British uh, was it an actor or a or a politician or a, uh, or maybe a celebrity cook said uh, walk softly and carry a big stick which is what the tortoise does or it might it might have been an American cook I can't remember but they said that and I think they were referring to the tortoise because the tortoise there, there's a game going on here guys uh, at the end of the video I'm gonna ask you how many times I've said the word tortoise and the guy that gets it right will have bragging rights. I'll give him a little heart uh, in the comment section, just so you know. The tortoise is slow. It's a slow lumbering uh, thing that frustrates a lot of people. You can't even push it because it's so slow. Like this guy, the IS, is trying to... He can't, right? All he's doing is slowing himself down. Everything's slow about the tortoise, except there are some things that aren't slow. The aim time is not slow, and the reload is not slow, and the damage per minute is not slow. It's fast. It's always fast, except for moving. And, uh, and therefore, it's very easy to counter a tortoise. It's, it's simple. It's one of the, one of the most easily countered uh, tanks in the game. All you have to do when you come across a tortoise is uh, to not uh, drive in front of it that's basically it that's all you have to do and then shoot it in the tracks uh, and it has these big tracks and take a long they take a long time to, to, to repair so that you just shoot it in the tracks and then whatever you do don't drive in front of it because if you drive in front of it a tortoise will shoot you over and over and over again very quickly and you'll die all right so, shh, Hunt is shooting HE because he's got a lot of HE loaded. Why does he have a lot of HE loaded? I guess for situations like this where he can't pen people from far away from the front and a tortoise. What is he hitting? Yeah, it helps if you aim. A tortoise finds itself quite often Got him. in these situations where it can't get to the battle. Like, you're, you ever driven one of these? Uh, you ever had one on your team? You ever rage ping the map uh, because you know you're up there spotting and then there's a guy way at the back and you uh, ping 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 and you you're to work move up and help and you're you're freaking out because you're a, let's face it you you're an idiot have you ever done that it's probably a tortoise back there he hasn't he can't move up because he's slow he like basically can't move he crawls around like a tortoise that's why it's called that a and so they players that play th this particular tank why do they do it uh, because they're trying to get the next one which is also slow uh, the, the gerbil or the badger the what is it the badger the badger the, which is basically a a tortoise but in tier 10 so you got bigger tanks shooting you the players that play this tank quite often find themselves in situations like this where uh, there's some targets and they start shooting. Or the game starts and the, the team runs around and, and you know they play their game and they find themselves at the back like this all day. And it's not their fault because they can't keep up. And this is the thing about the game. Let me let, put it in perspective here. All the tanks travel at different speeds. Most of them around the same, kind of, you know, at 40, 50. But some of them are really fast and some of them are really slow. There's, And so what happens is the game starts and everyone just goes as, like, as fast as they can to wherever they want to go. So the fast ones get there and the medium ones are like kind of coming. And the slow ones, they don't get there. But they're all going as fast as they can. And then the fast guys die or, or they don't die. They kill the other fast guys. And the medium ones muck it up and then one or the other side. And a lot of times the slow guy ends up like this tortoise, like wallowing around. Like, see the fast guy's heading back? What's he going to do? He doesn't know. He's like, he's moved 100 yards so far because he was well, going to go down this way, but then he stopped to shoot and now he's aiming. He's like, is this guy going to peek? Yeah, he is. He's missing. He's, he's trying his best. 
And uh, here it is. It's five minutes into the game and he's barely moved. And that's the life of a tortoise. Is he going to actually aim these shots or are you just going to sh shoot at the rocks there? Like, there, there's the enemy. Oh, he's taken out. Oh, very good, very good. Can, yeah, there you go. There you go. We've damaged them. So, this is the typical uh, what happens to the, the tortoise driver. He's, he's walking slowly, but he does have a big stick. You see how it all comes around? You see? Eh? And it's 7 7, and it's time for him to, to retrace his steps. He's moved 100 yards, and now he's going to go back 100 yards. That's as far as he's going to go. If his team had won that side, the guys he was supporting, and they rushed in and wiped everyone out at the base, it'd be one of those games where it's over and he's done a 600 damage and oh, a GG team, thanks for, you know, winning so quickly. A and you do nothing because you're in a tortoise. But in the case where it's a close game and your guys go up and they get bogged down and maybe you lose a flank and the enemies get close and and someone has to go back to base. Surprisingly enough, the tortoise can go back to base because it hasn't really left the base. You see, so now he's going back. And he's like the only guy. Uh, except for this AMX 1357, which is going to go spot the corner behind him. Because uh, I'm not sure why he's going to do that. Because why would he do that? No, or why wouldn't he? He's in a, an AMX 1357. Why wouldn't he go behind the tortoise? No. That's a topic for another video. But you see, he's now here. He's, he's at his base. And all of a sudden, it's 9-10. And okay, can he actually pen the Capola? If we say Tortoise, we might as well say Capola. He did. Didn't he penetrate the Capola? All right, so what has he done? He's retraced half his steps. He's moved 100 yards to the east, and now he's come back 50 yards to the west. And he's almost where he started. And it's 9-10. His GW Panther, the artillery, has moved up the spot. You notice that on the minimap? He's, uh, <laughs> he's moved farther than the Tortoise. The Lorraine, the fast artillery, has not moved and is going to die because he does not have a minimap turned on. And he doesn't know that there's no one there that can help him. So he did not drive uh, towards the Tortoise and position himself there. The AMX 1357 has taken the spot that the artillery should be. Did you notice that AMX 1357? He's, uh, there he is, that, back there. He's guarding the rear. There he is, little fella, so cute. And the Emil has finally realized, oh, I, I, we, we won this eight line and I don't know what to do, so I'm gonna come back. And here starts the excitement of this game. See, we're, we're only halfway through. And there go the artilleries, gone. The SPGs are gone. And now it is just a tortoise an AMX 1357 that does not know how to drive a fast tank, and an Emil 1 who's confused. Let's start watching. The tortoise is detected. This is not good. Now, remember what I told you about the, the front of the tortoise being the dangerous side of it, and how it would be foolish to sit in front of a tortoise? Well, these enemies here, uh, they've decided that that's exactly what they should do. Except for the Tiger P, who is behind the tortoise now. The AMX 1357 does not care that there's a Tiger P there. The tortoise does not notice, and the Emil is still confused. Uh, the Tiger P now is, is pulled off a beautiful flanking. Oh, oh yeah, oh, there he is. But it's a Tiger P. Let's face it, it's a Tiger P. And the Tiger P, what happened to the AMX 1357? Did he drown himself? I think he drowned himself. The Tiger P has no chance uh, versus a tortoise because the Tiger P is German and it is so slow and so pathetic that it can't even drive around uh, one of the slowest vehicles in the game. But it can die and provide cover for a tortoise. That's one thing that a Tiger P is good at. Now watch. See, he should have tracked that Tiger P like this. Tracking. Tracking is what a tortoise should do. See, track him again and then... Oh, no, no, no. Track him again. No, no, no. He did not track and now he is tracked. He is a tracked tortoise. A tracked tortoise is a dead tortoise. Unless the enemy stops in front of you. Uh, in which case the enemy uh, is a Muppet. And then you are not a dead tortoise. You are still a live tortoise. Uh, 
Are you following? There's strategy involved here. There's this, what you should do in a tortoise and what you should do when you're facing one. We are learning lots here. Trust me, guys. It's not just gibberish. Uh, there, there are things to be learned, e even uh, in situations like this. Like, why did the AMX 1357 leap off a cliff and drown himself? Did he? Did I miss that? Uh, was I not paying attention? Uh, nobody knows what he did, actually. Uh, I bet you don't even know. And while we've been discussing uh, th that irrelevant portion of the, uh, of the game here, we find ourselves now watching Mr. Tortoise versus three, t uh, an artillery and two tanks. A Scorpion G, which could really put a hurting on them. And, uh, well, what's the other one? A Chrysler. Two formidable opponents. Two very formidable opponents if they do something together. Three formidable, almost uh, undefeatable opponents if they manage to coordinate together, the three of them. Oh, that would be impossible for a tortoise to give up. Wait, 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 there, here comes the Chrysler. What's the Chrysler going to do? The Chrysler has has approached the tortoise from the front, but the Scorpion G has shot him in the side. Okay, he's, you know, they're working together. They're doing a really good job, but the Chrysler has uh, parked in front of the tortoise, which is uh, unfortunately not a good strategy. Uh, it didn't work out for him. But the scorpion did get one shot. Where did the scorpion shoot him from? The middle? We don't know. The scorpion was stealth. Why is the artillery not shooting? Why have shells not landed? What is going on? Is the artillery uh, uh, of the same caliber as the AMX 1357? Is, are we witnessing an equivalent amount of Muppets per side? I, I thought I saw a tree down. Yes, I did. There he, there's the scorpion G. He is also approaching the tortoise from the front. He has spotted him. Where's the M? Why has the M12 not fired his... He's an artillery. Why is he not shooting the tortoise? He's, he is in a position on the map. Maybe he's typing in chat right now. I don't have a shot. There's a, there's a little rock in the way. And, and his team is saying, Well, move! Propel yourself somewhere! And he's unsure. And confused is probably what's going on. We don't know where he is. We can only watch and keep our fingers crossed and wonder if this tortoise can emerge victorious. The Scorpion G has... He spotted him once. Can he proxy spot... What would you do in this situation as a tortoise? If you charge forward, you could get flanked easily by that Scorpion. The Scorpion G could possibly track him and just use his speed to, to stay away from the, f the front of the tortoise. He could drive around him. It's possible. I know. It would require a little use of the W key and the, the A and D key. But there are some players that possess that skill of not driving in front of, a, of an enemy turretless TD's gun. There are players that can do that. And this tortoise is not sure if that Scorpion G is one of them. He's... He's wondering now, where, where is the artillery and where is the Scorpion G? There are two of them. The artillery hasn't fired in who knows how long. We don't know what he is up to. Where did the Scorpion G go? Has he gone back to base? Uh, that probably wouldn't be a good idea in this situation, knowing that the tortoise is the only enemy left. Now this is risky. He could get spotted by the Scorpion G here. Is he going to get spotted and shot? Oh, yes, he... Uh, oh, there's the M12. The M12 has decided to reveal himself. Finally, he's revealed himself. I guess the artillery was spotting for the Scorpion, who is uh, driving recklessly in the open. And the tortoise emerges victorious! And, and what have we learned? What uh, Radley Walters and Top Gun, haven't we... We've learned something. I'm, I'm sure there is a takeaway to this video. How did he do? He did 377 team damage. I missed that. I, I miss a lot of things. I don't, I don't catch it all. I, I still don't know how that AMX 1357 died. But uh, what's the takeaway? Is that uh, 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 a tortoise versus uh, a lot of Muppets can do a lot of damage? Is is what I, w I think I was getting at. And how many times did I say tortoise, including that 
just now when I said tortoise. Eh? How many times? 